Dyson argued in a fascinating article 20 years ago that in the ever-expanding universe, although it's cooling and the stars are burning out and so on, so that life in the present form couldn't survive forever, he argued that life could evolve and adapt so as to go on forever in ever-changing forms. But nevertheless, if not as an individual, then as a species, you get to think more and more thoughts and live more and more deeds, experience more and more things, and possibly communicate with more and more distant civilizations, maybe even travel there. Once I was told that the alternative wasn't death by ice or death by fire, as it was sometimes presented, but that the alternative was death by fire or an ever-changing existence, evolving into forms we can't easily conceive of. I find the second one so much more preferable. <laughs> But ever since then, I've actually hard, found it hard to believe that the universe is going to recollapse. And there's a very interesting subtlety, which Freeman actually didn't address, but I've discussed it with him a few times, that has to do with something called the cosmological constant, which is the energy density of the vacuum. It's one of the puzzles that came up in Einstein's theory, which neither he nor his successors have been able to grapple with successfully. 